Praise the Lord. Champions, shout, not my blood. Thank you very much. I just quickly want to thank God for his goodness upon my life. And now he deliver me from the hands of my enemies. Yeah, sometime last week, I had a dream that I was to go on a flight. I mean, in the dream. So the airplane that was inside got fire. There was fire. So, you know, somehow I overcame it in the dream. But when I woke up that morning before going to office, I picked my miracle water and I administered it before going to office. Believe me sincerely, when I got to office that day, it was an impromptu uh, journey for me that day because I'm a flight crew, actually. So I was not expecting that journey that day. The same vision I had, the same aircraft, the same pilot that I was supposed to travel with in the, in the dream was the same person that we were detailed that we were to travel that day. So I said, my God. So I just pray. I said, since I know what I carry, there's no cause for me to be afraid. So we embarked on the journey. Behold, when we came back, when we returned back to Abuja, they just, the people, the, the ground crew, they just told us that, look at what you guys brought back. Behold, it was a big eagle that has been shattered. You know, it was hanging on the nose wheel. Instead of it to enter into the engine, you know, if a big bird enter into the engine, you know what will happen to that engine? So I thank God for making me to overcome the enemies in my life. Praise the Lord. So secondly, I want to thank God for moving me from, level, from one level to another. Once upon a time, I was a single person. I got married. Within a short period of time, God gave me a bouncing baby boy. Amen. I give glory and honor to Almighty God. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. I believe you have seen what I wanted to show from the screen. It takes God's intervention for such a, a calamity to be averted. He administered a miracle water. Instead of that very big uh, 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 something bear to enter the engine, he stops at the nozzle of the aircraft. That is what God will do. Hear me. By the covenant of God with our daddy, he declared that no one, no one blood will be lost. Praise the Lord. Champion, praise the Lord. On 27th of January this year, I came to this church for the first time. So I was outside late Saturday. They said we should come inside because of sun. So we entered inside just this particular place. Man of God walked to me. He said, where are your children? I looked at him. I did not say anything. Later, I said, I don't have anyone. He said, where are your children? I said, I don't have anyone because I have had two miscarriages after my wedding. So that time, I knew I was pregnant, but it didn't show because I took him November. Man of God now prophesied to me that I'm going to deliver a baby boy, that the name is going to be Abraham. Luckily for me, last month on Ted, I gave birth to this baby boy that you are seeing, and I have given him a name, he's Abraham, and I pray that God will keep him for me. Celebrate God. Mm, mm, mm. She came, he said, you are going to give birth to a baby boy. See, these are not psychological words. No, no, no. They are not guesswork. These are God speaking through man. Are you getting me? And that's how I know that your own word is coming today. Yeah. In our God, there is no impossibility. She used to have miscarriage. By coming in contact with this great oil, that one stayed. Your own will stay today. Yeah. Champions family, praise the Lord. I'm out this morning to thank the God of this commission. I also thank our daddy in the Lord. The Lord has used him. No, I want to testify. I want to give this testimony on behalf of my daughter. You know, the Lord revealed it to daddy. The enemy want to take away the life of their daughter. August 24th, this year, 2013. But the Lord used papa to pray. And the papa canceled it. And I want to tell you today, being 13th October 2013, my baby is alive in the land of the living, and she's two years old. I said, the Lord who has done this, may his name be highly glorified in Jesus' name. Amen. 
you are not going to die. You will live to testify the goodness of God. Not even your children will die. They, when the enemy say they will fall, instead of them falling, they will be growing up. Rather, the enemy that dug that pit will enter that pit. That is your portion in Jesus' name. Okay. Champion, praise the Lord. My name is Okoro Emmanuel. Uh, please don't be surprised seeing me here. Some few weeks ago, I gave a testimony here. What is actually happening is the prayer I made here that God make my life a testimony. Praise the Lord. I want to glorify God. I want to equally thank the certificated anointed man of God in this commission. Please, I equally want to give this testimony for some of us sitting down here in order for you not to be afraid of those harvests in your village. Praise the Lord. Uh, it all happened as a result of a particular land that uh, was passed to us from my late father. And I have an uncle who is a native doctor. He has a shiran in the village. And this, my uncle, has already sold all the property and all the land we had in the village. But this particular one that belonged to my father, which is also my inheritance, he went and he sold it to some unknown persons. Then the information came to me and my mother said, your fatherland has been sold by your uncle. And I said, okay, no problem. Don't worry, I will come and see my uncle. After that, into, I want to summarize the testimony. After that, you know, I reported the case to the community, the chief of the community. And the chief of the community summoned my uncle and the uncle said, no, he has sold the land and he called me. He said, if I don't remove my hand from the case, that he will send me to six feet grave. Then I left my uncle. I confronted him. I told him one thing. I said, you have just stepped on God's tail. That the God is a lion and you step on the tail and be ready to face the battle. I left him. Behold, after one week, I was in a dream. My uncle came with three of his children. My uncle particularly was having a sword. One of the child was having a gun. Another one was having an arrow. And he asked the one with the sword, he said, cut him. If he wants to run, I will shoot him. And the one with the sword raised the sword, and he wants to cut me. The next thing I said, I bind you in the name of Jesus. Behold, the hand was suspended. Then I wake up from the dream. After that, children of God, behold, my mother called me that your uncle is sick. To cut the story short, as I'm telling you, the land has been given to me and my uncle is dead now. <laughs> Champion, praise the Lord. The second testimony, this one just happened of just about a few weeks ago, my mother called me, said, my son, my goat is missing. Ah, I said, now, wow, your goat. That pregnant goat, he said, yes. I said, don't worry. God is in control. After two days, she called me again. He said, but before then, before then, that same week, I actually came here to see Papa. When Papa saw me, he just, you know, give me a, 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 a prophetic declaration of words. And he said, you are free. I've released your star. Go and shine. And when I got to my key to that word, I said, God, by the reason of the anointing of Prophet Igila, God of champion, arise to my mother's case. I declare intervention, supernatural judgment of God. After that, something happened. My mother called me. He said, one boy came to her, and the boy confesses that there were three that stole that gold, that he is restless. I told my mother, I said, okay, take them to the chairman of the community. They were taken to the chairman of the community. The chairman of the community said, I cannot harbor a criminal. He then took three of them. They got them arrested, took them to the nearest uh, 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 police station. When they got there, there is a particular chief because they confess that they killed that goat to offer sacrifice for the Asheran, that they, all of them that are dancing masquerade, they were all ate from that goat. So then the chief priest took a lawyer, he went to the police station, he bailed them, saying that nobody can do them anything. He included the chairman of the community. My mother called me again. I told her, I said, God is working on your case. Don't worry that I have discovered a place. That is where I worship for the past few months now. I am proud of that place. That 
the God of the commission of that place will vindicate you. Behold, after then, just last week, my mother called me. That same Habalis, that same chief priest is dead, as I'm telling you. He was just buried last week. And as I'm telling you, all the Makure dancers, they all came begging the chairman that we are going to pay the fan, not only for the community, but we'll pay for the gold. As I'm telling you, just on the 10th of this month, they all gather the money and pay for the gold. I really want to thank God. Praise the Lord, champion. So much shall fire. <laughs> uh, our God has the power to make a lie and also to kill. Whoever wants to take that which belongs to you, whoever wants to put you down, whoever said that the life that you are living is not good, by the authority that is in the word of God, I put them down. How can they say you should die? Why they are alive? No, 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 no. They will die that same day. Somebody shout a bigger amen. amen. Shout fire. Champion, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. By the grace of God, I am Pastor Mrs. Beatrice Ubuntu Ashe. I've just been transferred from Kanu to this place and I joined this commission precisely on the 27th of July 2013. And my first encounter on counseling day with daddy was he told me that he could see some witches around me and they are planning against me and my family, specifically that they were planning accidents. And that accident is very near. And uh, by the spirit of God, he instructed me to do a sacrifice, which I did. On the very Tuesday that I came to, uh, to bring the sacrifice to the Lord, just around that kind, nine o'clock, I was here. And I delivered this and I went back. Around 10 o'clock, I had a call from Kaduna, from one of my sister, that uh, one of my sisters is having a terrible accident of a motorbike and that she has been rushed to the hospital. I want to bless the name of the Lord because that was not what the devil meant. Because after even the uh, accident, so in the sister says saying she's seen some people coming that they were carrying cutlass, they are carrying guns, they are carrying this, they are carrying that, and they are saying they want to kill her. But what I want to bless the name of the Lord that God did not allow the plans of the enemy to come to pass in the life of my sister. The God that frustrated the talking of liars and made the diviners mad. He frustrated every effort of the devil against me and my family. And I, I say his name be praised forevermore in the name of Jesus. And I want to bless the name of the Lord for God healing me of eye problem. That with the time I came here, I was having eye problem. I went to the hospital. They uh, uh, diagnosed. They said they can't see anything. They, they prescribed some drug for me, and, which I took for about three weeks. But the problem was getting worse. But at a time, and I came and, and bought the anoint, uh, miracle water. And then I applied the miracle water. And to the glory of the Lord, I can see that my eye is clear to the glory of God in the name of Jesus. And the very week again that uh, our father and the Lord was led by God to preach the, uh, the message, not my blood. I had a dream and I saw myself, somebody going in front of me telling me to follow her. It was a woman. And I was going at a point, I saw something like a ditch. I bet it's a dry land. As I was going, I saw my sister sinking. And I, be, I was, my enemy was sinking, not me. And I was going down, I was going down, all of a sudden I just said, God, the voice of the Lord spoke to me that I should say, not my blood. And I cried in that, in, that, in, in that dream, not my blood. And all of a sudden I saw a man from nowhere came and pulled me out. Pulled me out with the hand to the extent that something that was holding me on that ground, that was drawing me down, came out with me. And behold, when I look at it, I saw it was a man. I saw that it was a man and immediately that man disappeared. I want to bless the name of the Lord that has frustrated every effort of the devil against my life and family. I say may his name alone be glorified forevermore in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Somebody shout fire. Hallelujah. About the Mary message, it's my name. I want to bless God for his faithfulness. Since when I started attending this church, God has been so faithful in a new way. Hallelujah. I attended this church the 1st of September, and lo and behold, God did so much that I cannot explain. Those that can recall my face will know that God delivered me from 
serious as in issues of life that I just felt I'm too small for it. Hallelujah. Then I want to thank God for an understanding. The first time I came to this church, I had the understanding of the word fire. I don't like using it as a Christian, not because I hate the word fire, but maybe when people are cracking jokes, they make just of it and fire. So I said, to me, there is no need. But that day, the way that it was like saying fire, I felt power, hallelujah. And since from then, in my dreams, I used the word fire and I'm victorious. That is testimony number two. Thirdly, I want to bless God for the second service of September. I was outside there when daddy said, um, if you know that, that this rain that is about to fall, there's a cloud that is going to be a miracle, go into it and ask God of any. I've been suffering for severe menstrual pain. As in, even if I'm having that, if I'm in that condition, to stand up at times to pray, is, it's very difficult. When I say difficult, I mean difficult. Exams, I won't be able to read. But that day, I asked the Lord, if you've spoken through this vessel, oh God, today, as this rain falls on me, let it wash away menstrual pain. To the glory of God, this is the second time my menstrual cycle came, and I have no injection, no drug. Please bless God for that. Hallelujah. Champion, praise the Lord. My name is Daniel Egbefo. I just want to bless the name of the Lord for what he has done in my life through this ministry. Sometime last year, I was going through some difficulties in my business. It got to a point I could not even pay my children's school fees. School fees. So in the process, I discovered this uh, commission on the Africa Broadcasting Network, ABN. Then, so I was watching my faith grow. One night, I was in a dream. That was on Saturday night, one, you know, that faithful night. I saw Papa praying for me. I have not met with him before, apart from seeing him on the television. So in the following morning, which is on Sunday, we were supposed to go to my local assembly in Nigeria State, I'm from Nigeria State. So I told my wife, we are going to Chapel Royal Assembly this morning. She said, what happened? I said, do you know, I saw that man of God praying for me in the dream, somebody I've not even seen in my life. He said, ah, maybe God wants to say something concerning my situation through that man. That was how we came. When we came, I was sitting at the, on this row. My wife was at the, at the back with the baby. Immediately, Papa just climbed the pulpit. He had not even been inside for five minutes. He just came to me straight where I was sitting. He said, sir, can I speak to you? I said, yeah, prophet, that is why I'm here. He said, he's seeing 14 chain around me. Imagine when somebody is even in one chain, not to talk of 14. I said, just watch it. So he prayed for me. At the end of the service, we, we left. The following morning, we came for counseling. Immediately, he just saw me. Papa opened up as if he was watching my live video clip. I have not even discussed my matter with him before. I have not even discussed my matter with anybody in this church. I was just watching. So at the end of the day, he gave me some prayer points. Subsequently, I was delivered. Things started happening. You know, human being, when you are in need of something, you want it to happen now, 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 now. So a few months later, I came to see Papa. He said, son, your case is settled. What you need to do now, just relax. Let God perfect his work in your life. I came to that word. But guess what happened? Just last week, the God of this commission has given me a Toyota Highlander Navigator Jeep. Amen. While we are, we are discussing, he said that even his handset then, he couldn't recharge his handset. I get it, me. You, you may not know it, everything, the children was withdrawn from school because there is no money to pay for their school fees. But coming in contact with this great oil, he said, it is over. After deliverance, the man of God said, go, relax and wait for your time. And he went home. And this is his time. He said that now things, it's not about the Jeep. It's all, he said that it's all about the life, the life that has been turned around. Everything about him has been turned around. So my advice to my brethren here and the viewer out there, especially the, the dirty Thomas among us. Whatever the man of God says you should do, just believe him. He's not the one talking. It's God that is speaking through him. Praise the Lord. Champion, praise the Lord. I'm Sharon Akenime. I just want to testify of the goodness and his mercies and his protection and his love upon my life, upon my academic, my career, and everything about me. I just want to give God the glory concerning my job. I lost my job some times ago. So when I came over, my friend was like, I watched it on the TV. Though I watched it on the telly. I was like, 
I know this past this man of God now. I used to watch him, but then I don't my mind, I don't know. Then she now said, Let's go. I said, Okay, we'll go together. So that's how I came here. As God will have it. On that on the first the first that I came here, I just saw the glory of God and I saw his favor, his love, his mercy upon my life and upon my family. And I just give God the glory for my job I lost some time ago. I was like, I was battered, I was just angry i was like what kind of life am i living oh, i'm just losing everything my 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 career everything i'm just losing god as i'm going to this church and i just wanted to do something about it as i came with my faith and with my belief and i came to the altar and the man of god just just prayed a simple prayer go the, the job that I've, that I haven't forgotten, I don't even know if the white man will call me again. He just called me and said, they're not coming. Go to this place. Simple job. And I just give God the glory for that job. And my second testimony goes like this. My sister, she, she was supposed to go for a trip with some people. And she was having this doubt that can she go? She don't know that it was the, it was the love of God that God don't want, him, want her to die. In a post section, they now call her and tell her that, look at you, you that did not come for the, follow us to the journey. Dude, we had an accident on our way to the place that we are supposed to travel to. And look at what happened. One person died and the others are in the hospital. I give God the glory for delivering her from her accident. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Celebrate God. That's how God will deliver you. Amen. Champion, praise God. My name is Stephen Shabo. I want to thank God this morning because for the past three years, I was living in the land of Egypt because I was living in a compound that everything was actually wrong. And I was believing God for a new accommodation. This has been battering for some few years. But God of champion that I always call on do his own will last week i was the reason why i'm giving this testimony because every time i will be expecting a breakthrough financial breakthrough at the age of that breakthrough everything will just become shamble it will be as if there's something else and my landlord was on my nerves i was on hot seat that i should pack out this is somebody that we're dying together we're just like friends but when things he started going rough he said I should leave his compound but I thank God because last week I brought somebody to come and shot him in before him that by Sunday last week I will pack out of his compound and actually that time I cannot boast of one naira, but with faith and because of the faith I have in this church people give testimonies more than this Somebody shot at me. I say, Sunday, I'm packing out. And as God has it, Friday, where I was not expecting any breakthrough, I got money around 4 p.m. And on Saturday, as I was going to pay house, I was coming back. My landlord was on my door. That he come to remind me that tomorrow we make an agreement that I will pack out. But as God has it, this God of champion, he answered me and I've moved out. I started having good dreams. I want to thank God. 